What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite video and today I bring you 5 things Epic removed from Battle Royale. Now the list contains things you'd expect to be removed along with a weapon believed to be so OP it was literally in the game for about 10 minutes and there was only one ever recording of it. But before we get into that guys I am giving away 2800 V-Bucks to win. Make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked and contacted via YouTube direct message. So good luck everybody. So let's get into it. And at number 5 we have the ability to reload a bolt action sniper rifle without scoping out. Now I actually do remember being able to do this and it made hitting that target for a second time a much easier easier thing to do as you didn't have to zoom out to reload the weapon. I guess Epic clocked onto this issue and patched it so now you have to zoom out, scope out to reload that bolt action sniper. The thing about bolt action snipers compared to semi-auto snipers is the fact they do so much more damage so you can understand why this is being addressed. As if it wasn't the case, what would be the point of using semi-auto snipers in the game? For sure you could shoot quicker without scoping out, but you'd do way less damage anyway. If with bolt action snipers you didn't have to zoom out to preload the weapon, I wouldn't see the actual need for semi-auto sniper rifles in the game, so it makes sense epic fixing this. Ok moving on and at 4 we have the jump pad. Now most won't remember these, they came straight from save the world game mode. Basically used to sling you or an enemy in any direction opposite to the approach they took on standing on this jump pad. To be honest they were completely pointless in my opinion and when seeing them most people ignored them because there's just no need for them at all. Now a new jump pad has been included as we know and it's called the launch pad and this thing is on a whole new level and actually adds to the game in many many ways. Now did they have the idea of this launch pad when removing the jump pad? I ain't sure but either way the addition to add this and remove the jump pad made much more sense and it's a great little tool to help you out in many different scenarios. Some of the players I have seen using launch pads are truly incredible. I mean jump pads were that bad they even buffed them in save the world game mode. Ok so moving on and next up we have double pump shotguns. Now this one was split, a lot of people didn't want this removed yet many people did. What this double pump is if you don't know it was a technique used to fire off the pump action shotgun like a semi auto shotgun actually I believe you were able to shoot it even quicker than the semi auto and it took at least 2 pump actions to get this to work. You can see it in action on screen now thanks to a pal of mine dark ninja. Now because these pump action shotguns weren't rare and you could get them in a few different rarities the odds of you being able to do this almost every game were high so many people picked up on this technique and used it and for many it became an annoyance as you really couldn't do anything about it especially at close range it was seriously hard to combat so it would take two pump action shotguns and you need to place them side by side in your inventory simply fire one switch to the other fire that switch back fire rinse and repeat until your clips are empty and it was a ruthless way of taking out opponents at close range and I'm certain Epic didn't want this to be the case so they basically eliminated it from the game. Now if you use the pumps and have them side by side in your inventory, once you shoot one and switch to the other there will be a slight cooldown before you can fire again. Now there actually is a way you can still pull this off but it takes seriously good timing. I will link that video if I can still find it within the video description. You can also do this with a newly added heavy shotgun and it works wonders. Thing here is though these are a lot harder to find but if you do manage to scoop two up use the same technique and it works incredibly. Seen by this amazing clip on screen now by Manny. Oh, there's two of them. Oh fuck. Dude. Get him, get him, get him. There's two up there. There's two up there. So there's a guy in the broken house, Adrian. Lower. Yeah, the lower part in the broken house. <laughs> Yo, there, yeah, there's <laughs> one guy. Yeah, right here, right here, down here where I am. Broken house. What? Next up we have smoke grenades. Now smoke grenades in my opinion were one of the most useless things in the game. The problem with these were, and although they initially buffed them to make the smoke more prominent, they still weren't used enough. I mean I used these if I found them, throwing them at my teammates. I never used them in battle because they truly was no point. You'd be taking as much a risk of running into the smoke blind looking for an enemy who is hiding as you would without the smoke. So it really was completely pointless to use. I mean there's probably 1 in 5 or 10 attempts where these things would actually work for you. So I just thought they were pointless, I really did. So they have been voted by Epic. Now it is believed that these will eventually be replaced by the recently found via data mined gas grenade. 
Now this I believe will work a lot like the smoke grenade, but this will poison people trapped inside the smoke. This I can see working and being useful as for when you come across people hiding in their own buildings, you can simply lob one of these into their creations and watch them run for fresh air. So the gas grenade will be a decent addition in my opinion. Now we wait for these to be added. And lastly people we move on to the Zappertron. Now this weapon I do believe I remember being announced to be added into the game and as soon as this happened it was removed. Now it was originally part of the 1.6.3 release notes where they spoke about this weapon. Here check it out on screen now. And it goes to show how long ago this was as it was being added to the game with squads and duos. The Zappertron can be used to fire electric blasts in short bursts or charged up to release an enormous amount of damage. Fire sparingly as sour ammo is extremely limited. This weapon is only available in supply drops. Now it was so rare for the short amount of time it was in Battle Royale that people thought it was a myth, but it was in Battle Royale and two things here confirm it. Firstly the fact Fortnite tweeted this out saying it was removed. We have disabled this Zappertron, we feel like it doesn't fit well in the current state of Battle Royale. This is something we may revisit. And also the fact that we have one official recording of this weapon in action in Battle Royale and here it is on screen now. Now this footage does belong to Ionix TV whose channel can be found linked within the video description. Now this is the only footage we know of this weapon and to be honest it looks like an absolute monster. Now the weapon is still available in game within the save the world game mode where I believe it was initially found. So it ain't completely been removed. You can see the save the world's footage of this Zappertron on screen now thanks to DLCG Ninja. Me personally I don't think it would be too bad of a weapon to have in game now. With a few nerfs adding this thing I believe could indeed be a fun weapon to use for sure. But yeah people the Zappertron has been removed. They did state they may look into it within the future but I doubt we'll ever see it again. But what do you think? Let me know down below within that comment section. But hey guys we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it leaving a like really does help me and my channel out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Fortnite videos be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one.